Ah, yes, a murder of crows, an unkindness of ravens, charming company, I'm sure. But tell me, what do you call a gathering of bird brains? A nuisance, at the very least, or perhaps a pestilence. There's no shortage of names for the intellectually deficient. We've all encountered them. You could call them airheads, boneheads, blockheads. Oh, I could go on, but I really don't want to. But for the sake of completion, we should press on. A chowderhead, a chucklehead, a cluck, a clodpole, a cretin, a dimwit, a dolt, a donkey, a doofus, a dunderhead. Ah, I see that you're getting the point. I'd wager half the population fits under some variation of the term bird brain, and most of them don't even know it. Consider, if you will, the sort of person who finds endless joy in calling others by these delightful names, mean-spirited, I'd say, and probably not much better off in the thinking department themselves. Yet, when you get a whole gaggle of them together, that's when things get interesting. You see, once the bird brain starts squawking, all hell breaks loose. Rip out an eye here, tear off a leg there, and before you know it, the whole world is aflame. And frankly, in such a situation, I wouldn't blame them. Better to be blind than to watch the circus they've made of it all.